Okay, so this is another short video trying to demo or explain some of the things I'm working on. Um, no way is this perfect or anything, it's just kind of experimental. All this servo stuff is kind of new to me and how to change, you know, rotary um, motion into some sort of linear um, motion to twitch things or move things around in the dome. Um, let me go over some of the components then. This little servo that I picked up at Tower Hobbies, it's um, a HS55. Um, I guess it's a micro or a mini servo. Um, pretty powerful actually, you know, it's got a lot of torque in it. Um, I took one of the longer horns and chopped it in half and I'm using that as the, the lever that it's going to pull back and forth on one of the hollow projectors. Um, I also got one of these kits on eBay. It's um, a linkage assembly thing. Um, really was kind of redundant really because this was too big. Um, for me to use on the servo. If I'd had more of a traditional large servo it would have done um, but I didn't want to clutter the dome in with lots of large servos so maybe I'll go back and use this for something else but I did actually use some of the components um, to get this thing working. So there's my little servo it's laying on its side and you can see, I'm not sure if you can see the that's the long servo arm and I've kind of meshed it into this long um, slidey thing that's gonna that's attached to the back of the hollow. So this is the front of the hollow projector, the dome is upside down. And uh it's just rigged up to my um receiver right now but I may connect it up to a little pickaxe board or something to try and get it to uh um just do things randomly on its own. So and it's already velcroed down right now so there's gonna be more movement in the servo than typically is needed but I wanted to kind of just show uh you know, how, rotating the servo would actually move the 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 hollow projector. So, so I can move it back and forth. So you can see it's. And what I've done is I've um, the HPs that I have have little sockets in them, and I've uh, epoxied in a screw, and then attached the end of the the arm to that. So as it moves, it's, it's dragging the hollow projector around. The servo is moving again at the bottom. I'm going to pretty permanently attach that to the dome um, or somewhere a little more secure but right now I want to be able to move things around as I experiment with the angles and such. So there's it and then on the front let's see and it is moving around. So that's it. That's my version of doing it. I'm not sure if it's the right way or the wrong way. It's just some experimentation I've done this evening. So the dome's back on. Uh, I haven't changed anything. It's the same configuration on the hull projector right now. And uh, let's see what it looks like in the room. So you can look up, you can look all the way down. And it looks like he's doing more of a side to side motion because he's running at a diagonal in that um, oval groove that runs in the hull projector. I'm put the light on. I need to decide now is if I'm going to make it a random feature or if I'm going to control it by hand. Um, I'll probably do a bit of both. I'm going to experiment with some programming later on today on the VAX.